On the 29th day of Lagma Quantica, my true love sent to me a box from Louisa Ruby. Oh, that rhymed. So let's get cracking. my explorers and welcome back to Lauren's Adventures Out There. And if you're new, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. My name is Lauren and I'm with Castles, Capes, and Clones, where we discuss everything in the Disney universe. We talk Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, The Muppets, 20th Century, Hulu, uh, Disney Plus, I can't remember these things because there's so much of it. And if it's Disney, we're talking about it. So if you enjoy that kind of content, we would love it if you would subscribe to our channel. If you aren't already, hit the bell for notifications and do like this post as it really does help us out. So usually once a month, I get a box from my buddy, my pal, uh, Louisa Ruby, aka Lulu, over at Guess Where? Louisa Ruby. I uh, love her to death. And she's always um, at some kind of thrift shop or some kind of antique shop. And she sends us photos and we order from her. And um, I've had this box sitting here like for a month and I've been looking for the right time to open it because my uh, main part of Vlogman Quantica was so full. So let's go ahead and get into this box. I cannot wait. Okay, we'll be right back. I gotta cut the box open. So I cut the box open and uh, usually Lulu likes to put a lot of tape on things but uh, I would manage to get this thing open pretty easily. So we'll just start from this and go backwards. So this record, I remember having when I was younger. Um, and it is Christmas Favorites, performed by Larry Gross, Larry Gross, the Mike Sam Singers, and the Disneyland Children's Sing Along Chorus and um, Children's Choral Direction by Betty Joyce. And then a side one has White Christmas, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer, We Wish You a Merry Christmas, Winter Wonderland, jo Jolly Old St. Nicholas, uh, Do You Hear What I Hear, and Oh Christmas Tree. And then the, the side two has Frosty the Snowman, Jingle Bells, Deck the Hall, Little Drummer Boy, Santa Claus is Coming to Town, and Silent Night. What is, now of course they do their thing in Roman numerals. I can believe that. <laughs> I can't remember what year this is from, but I remember I had this uh, record. Okay. Next we have, and I also remember having this. This is a, looks like it's a newer version, but I had an older version of this book. Oh my god. Oh wait. Did I have this one? Oh, look at this. August 7th, 1990. Happy birthday, Julianne. Love, Michelle. Oh, look at that. Michelle. And now we are sharing this. I, I guess Julianne didn't like this book enough to retain it. But here are all the stories. Let's see, what is this? What year is this from? Oh my god. Oh, I can't read it. It's too small. But anyway, it's got to be before 1990. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Look at some of the... I'm just going to show you some of the illustrations. Hiawatha was in this. My sailboat. Look at these charming... Oh, look. Pedro from uh, not Three Caballeros, but 
to loot as Migos. And once upon a winter time. Oh, this is so good. Look at this. Some more Mr. Toad in there. Little Mr. Toad. Um, the Orphan Kitties. Goliath 2. How cute is that? Dumbo. Hello, Ryan. I'm, I'm like hitting all your vibes here with Goliath 2 and Dumbo. And there's some Goofy in there. And let's go over here. This is an ugly duckling. This is like so good. I remember having this. Look at this. Mrs. Cackle's Corn. And let's see what else. Let's just go back here. Oh, the three little pigs. These, these illustrations are charming. I mean, look at this one right there. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I love this. I love this. I just remember having this. So, Pinocchio. Alright. Okay. We spent enough time on one book. Alright. Next. We have Roger Rabbit! <laughs> and um, this is a different. A different tune. And here's some illustrations of it. That's cool. I love that. Okay. Ah, and then I got a little golden book of Alice in Wonderland. And this looks a lot, um, this looks more like an older version of this book, which is great, because I have the newer version, but look at the illustrations in this. This is why I love little golden books. Okay. Ah-ha-ha! -ha. Then, okay, when I was younger, I loved these books. These, this is not Disney, but it's this one is Bedtime for Francis. And I just love this. And this perhaps this is why I'm a Hufflepuff. It's because I just love this badger. I just love it. I didn't realize they still printed these um, books. Now this might, might have been from a while ago, but I just find these drawings to be so charming. Oh, I love it. Okay, and then we have this. This came with a record, but I don't think the record is in here anymore. Nope, it is not. But this is Pete's Dragon. And there's the little booklet. This is the little booklet that came along with it. And let's see. Here we go. There's some drawings in there. Could totally have been a little golden book. And this is uh, me, Snow White, and the Seven Dwarfs. A new Disney adventure. Yes. And this is, wow, look at this. This is like tight. Like with a typewriter. I wonder what happened to this book. Was it just something that somebody decided to just print themselves? That's really cool. I just saw it and I, I was like, oh, I'd like that. And this bookstore, or not, it's not like a, a thrift store that she goes to. Like, all these books are like $1.29. It's like, hello, how can you, how can you pass up on this offer? Look, Chicken Little. Now, you know, this is not a great film by far, but I just love this film for some reason. And part of it is because of this. Gary Marshall vo uh, voiced Buck Cluck. And I love Gary Marshall. Um, but I don't know. There's just something really charming about this. Look at this run of the litter. I love it. Okay. Let's see what is in here. Ooh, this is like a bag of goodies. Um, I think that... I, I can't remember if I bought these individually 
or if I just invested in whatever was in this bag because sometimes they put a whole bunch of stuff together at, at Louisa's um, thrift stores and antique stores and she just buys them and okay, I think that's everything in here but let's see what we got we got the great mouse detective look at this This looks like it was a golden book of a golden book lookbook. Hmm. Okay. And then look at this. We got Toodle, the train. And I remember having the book Toodle the Train um, when I was younger. This is uh, one of those record books. Okay. Oh, guys. So many good ones. This had to have been a grab bag. But look at this. Uh, a, uh, another record book with Pinocchio. None of these have the record in it. But look at this. Look at the illustrations. Ugh. Just love it. And this is The Happy Man and His Dump Truck. Because, you know, <laughs> the way to a man's heart is in his dump truck. And but look at the drawings in here. This is just, oh, I just love. I love children's books so much. And this is a little golden book and cassette. Oh, this came with a cassette and a record. Wow, that would have been fun to have. This one is Bambi. Hello, I got my myself a Bambi book. Bambi. Look at that. And this one was the little e engine that could. Oh my god, I remember that clown scared me as a child. Now this was not the one that I had. This is a little golden book and record. Ooh, I had the actual book. And finally, O-M-G. This is Danny Kay reads a special book uh, on a golden record which tells a story as a child turns a page, The Ugly Duckling. Now, I just read, I, I mean, I just did a thing on Frozen, from zero to 60 on Frozen. And they were actually um, going to, Disney was going to work with Samuel Goldwyn to do a um, film on the life of Hans, Hans Christian Anderson. And Disney was going to animate it, uh, animate like the little stories while uh, Goldwyn did the um, life of of uh, Hans Christian Anderson in live action. Well, they, they never got to do it because of the war. Uh, and then Samuel Goldwyn went ahead and just did the um, story of, of uh, Hans Christian Anderson. I'm sorry, I'm like so tongue-tied. <laughs> okay, anyway. Um, but they... Uh, did the movie with Danny Kane. And The Ugly Duckling is a Hans Christian Anderson story. So that is my long-winded story about that book. <laughs> All right. Well, did you have a favorite book that I pulled? Thank you so much, Lulu, for um, buying these things for me. I mean, I, I paid for them, but she, you know, go... She, she picks them up, you know, takes all the orders, and then is nice enough to mail them. I mean, I have I struggle with the box office, box swaps that I have to do. Um, and she just always gets them out on time and, you know, is really good about it. And God, I tell you, what is it about Kansas that has so many good 
and amazing thrift stores and antique stores. I I can't I can't find anything like that here in California. And my I am I live in a small podunk town, but still, you would think that I would be able to find something like that around here. Anyway, that's my monthly complaint about the state of affairs in my area. Um, all right. Well, if you had a good time, we'd love it if you would subscribe to our channel, hit the bell for notifications, and do like this post as it really does help us out. Visit us on all of our socials down below and visit our website at www.castlescapesandclones.com. Uh, we are trying to keep that updated with content that you don't get on the YouTube channel. So we'd love for you to check that out. All right. Uh, with that, we will see you later. Bye.